girlfriend, shoots boyfriend, then Texas Chainsaw massacres his butt. Turn that shit off. Be manipulation, this moisture must mean precipitation, no perspiration, terminal velocity. Hey yo, I appreciate it if you could hit that like button right about now. BBN News, Jack Frost, what's up party people? So yeah, we have a lady and she decided that she was going to shoot her boyfriend in the head and then dismember the body. You heard that correctly. He went to bed, she shot him in the head. And then she allegedly, she allegedly shot him in the head. And then she allegedly cut the body into pieces and then dumped them off after keeping them in the house a couple of days. Now, this is all weird, obviously. This is, uh, she's from Texas, by the way. Her name is Sierra Alexis Sutton. She's 30 years old. And she decided to do this for, we're not, it's not completely sure. All they know is that she had an argument with her boyfriend, 32-year-old Stephen Coleman. And when he laid down and went to bed that night, this was her designs. This is what she had decided to do. Friends reportedly say that Sutton confessed and told them that her 10-year-old daughter was in the home at the time. She was in the living room at the time. She wasn't even in her own bedroom. She was in the living room. Uh, the, the neighbors said that they didn't hear anything. There was nothing to suspect. The next day, she, uh, Alexis, Miss Sutton, started going around and telling people that he had not come in the night before or something like that and he was missing. She even went as far as to call the police and say that he was missing. So, this is just, I, I don't know what to call this. She had a plan. She had a design. You don't, you don't just on the whim. This is just my opinion right here. You don't just on a whim say, I'm going to shoot somebody in the head and then cut their body up. This is a planned event. This is something that you up, you plan out. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for this to happen. Then I'm going to do that. So I'm going to need these tools. Any, I, I don't know about anybody else, but cutting through bone and ligament is not as easy as it looks like in the movies. I personally accidentally put a chainsaw through my leg. Not through the bone, but through the meat. And when you're cutting through the meat, well, first of all, she used a chainsaw. Somebody would have heard something. I'm, I'm going to assume that somebody running a chainsaw inside of their house would be abnormal and somebody would be wondering what the heck is going on so i don't think that that's what she used to cut the body up with but i could be i could be wrong um i cutting through the flesh it went like butter hot uh, hot knife through a butter hot knife through a butter that just sounds incorrect it went like hot a hot knife a hot butter knife through butter i mean it, but i guess if the the knife is sharp and it's hot it cuts even better not the point the point is, when I accidentally put that chainsaw through my leg, it went like that. Luckily, I did not hit bone. But I will tell you that chainsaws do not cut through bones like it does in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and all of those gory movies that you might see on TV or in the movies when the guy has the chainsaw and he just, without, with effortlessly, without any effort, it just goes right through the bones. That doesn't happen. If any of you have ever used a chainsaw on a tree, it's more like that. It doesn't just cut through the bone. So, whatever tools she needed to dismember this gentleman, obviously, she had to have planned before time. There had to have been some forethought in this. So, this was not a situation, in my opinion, in my estimation, where they had one argument and she just said, oh, I'm going to kill this mf -er. This was definitely a situation where it seems like this young lady might have had this planned out for quite some time now. For whatever the reason is. I mean, I'm not saying she was abused. I hate when a man gets murdered by a female and the first thing everybody want to say is, Oh, you must have been abusing her. It couldn't be that she had something going on with herself. It couldn't be just anything else other than the man was an abusive man. 
Like, it couldn't have been anything else. But, you know, uh, let's just hope that that wasn't... Well, the man has already passed away. So, let's not sully his name on top of that. And so far, there hasn't been any actual uh, reason why she committed this heinous act. And then she chopped the body up and went and dropped... She's not coming out. She's going to be... When, when they sentence her... Because she's going to get found guilty. She did it. And she confessed two people. So there is her guilt is not in question at this point. Um, let's hope that this wasn't a case of, and I don't, I'm not throwing this out here because I don't want to sully the man's name, but when you when you murder a man in your house and your ten year old somehow doesn't know and it involves gunfire and I'm gonna guess that there was not a silencer but somehow your 10 year old does not know that you fired a gun in the house your 10 year old knows that you fired a gun in the house you get it so let's hope you know even though one tragedy has happened or one situation has happened where we had a human being removed from the planet that we don't have another human being that is going to go through a life after being traumatized. There's hope that's not the case. Because I can absolutely see a mother killing a dude for raping their child. And be perfectly honest with you, I, I'm, I, 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 I can't say that I would not be on her side for doing such a thing. I would assume that if a man rapes a child, he got to die one way or the other, right? But we don't know this to be fact. This is all right there. Just, you know, uh, me just going through the case and saying that this just doesn't make any sense for her to just have the argument with him and then decide to kill him. There has to be just more to it. it just has to be. And due to the fact that she also then cut his body, body up, knew where to go dump the body, there just has to be more to it. This was a planned event. So, uh, basically, also... A male torso, believed to be Coleman's, was discovered on August 27 at a Baytown landfill. The DNA has not positively, positively identified the remains, but police say it matches the description of the victim. Sutton said she would talk to Baytown police about the disappearance before Hurricane Harvey struck the area, area but never, but I'm guessing he's, they're saying they never showed up. With the help of an anonymous tip, police tracked her to New Orleans. Oh, she never showed up. But she went to New Orleans. And that's where she left her daughter at with, uh, I think, friends, family friends. She left her daughter with family friends in New Orleans. And then uh, that's where she was actually picked up at. So, like I said, I would not be surprised if this was a case of a daughter trying to protect, a mother trying to protect their daughter. So, anything else I hear of this? I'll keep in I'll uh, keep making videos on this, but I'm gonna need a hundred likes for me to stay invested in this particular story. Because if if I'm getting more views and more likes on other stories, then I have to be invested in delivering no stories. So I get a hundred likes on this story. I'm gonna make sure that I, I produce as many videos as possible. I'm gonna need a hundred likes though. I tell you what, I need fifty likes. That's fair. I'm gonna need fifty likes and uh. Let's try to let's try to uh, now keep the story going and, and make sure that I find out anything and then deliver the information. Anyway, I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Leave it down low in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. I love y'all. Keep each other safe. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.